Moving on to the topic of today's discussion, let's delve into the life of a beloved actor, known for his role in the classic show Night Court. The actor, Harry Anderson, brought laughter and joy to many through his character, Judge Harry Stone. But, one might wonder, did his personal life reflect the same happiness and fulfillment as his on-screen persona? Today, we'll explore the actor's life and how it may have influenced the show. Harry Anderson, born on October 14, 1952, was not just an actor but also a magician and comedian. His unique blend of talents contributed to his memorable performances in Night Court, which aired from 1984 to 1992. The show gained popularity for its humor and escapism, providing a much-needed break from reality for its audience. But, behind the scenes, the actor's personal life was quite different. He was married twice, first to Leslie Pollack, and then to Elizabeth Morgan. The question that arises is, how did these relationships influence his work and the character he portrayed? Join me, your host, as we examine the life of this talented individual and how his experiences may have shaped the show that brought laughter to so many. If you find this topic interesting, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing discussions. Now, without further ado, let's take a closer look at the personal life of Harry Anderson. Renowned illusionist Harry Blackstone Sr. had a significant influence on the young Harry Anderson. Even before finishing high school, Anderson was already performing magic at the Magic Castle. His first wife, Leslie Pollock, played a crucial role in his transition from magic to acting. In the early stages of his acting career, Anderson landed a notable role as an adult Richie in Stephen King's It. This breakthrough role showcased his talent and opened doors for more opportunities. Two of his most memorable roles were in the television shows Dave's World and The Escape Artist. Dave's World was a popular sitcom that aired from 1993 to 1997, where Anderson played the lead role of Dave Barry, a Miami Herald columnist. The Escape Artist, a miniseries, featured Anderson as a talented magician and escape artist, which allowed him to combine his early passion for magic with his acting skills. These roles, among others, solidified Anderson's status as a respected and skilled actor in the industry. His ability to captivate audiences with his charm and talent made him a standout in the world of television and film. The actor's contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be cherished by fans of all ages. Despite reaching great success as an actor, Harry Anderson struggled with being perceived primarily as a magician due to his frequent performances on talk shows. This was a source of frustration for him, as he wanted to be recognized for his work as an actor, rather than his magical skills. After Night Court concluded, the actor took on another leading role in Dave's world, but he didn't actively pursue more acting opportunities after that. Instead, he decided to leave Los Angeles and move to New Orleans, seeking refuge from the pressure and scrutiny of fame. The change of scenery allowed him to focus on his personal life and explore other interests outside of acting and magic. While he still occasionally made public appearances and performed magic tricks, he largely stayed out of the limelight. Moving away also gave the actor the space to reflect on his career and decide how he wanted to spend his time going forward. Although he had achieved significant acclaim as an actor, and magician, he ultimately chose to step back from both worlds and live a quieter life in Oregon. Harry Anderson's personal life was marked by a significant first marriage to Leslie Pollock that lasted for 22 years. They built a family together, having two children. However, the pressures and differences in their lifestyle eventually led to their divorce. In 2000, the actor found love again with Elizabeth Morgan. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, Harry Anderson demonstrated his commitment to New Orleans by opening a community recovery center. This act of kindness and solidarity showcased his dedication to aiding in the recovery efforts of the city he called home. The actor's showroom, Spade and Archer, became a popular meeting point for stage performers in the city. It was a place where they could connect, share ideas, and hone their craft. This space served as a testament to Anderson's love for the performing arts and his desire to support his fellow artists. Even after his passing, the impact of Harry Anderson's work and his contributions to his community continued to be fellow tenant. His legacy lives on through the memories he created and the lives he touched. His dedication to his craft and his commitment to his community will always be remembered. The actor's life and work serve as an inspiration to all who knew him and to those who continue to discover his talents. Speaking of the actor Harry Anderson, his relationships with his children were impacted by his successful career. 
His son, Davy Anderson, shared that their home often felt like it belonged to Night Court, the popular show where his dad played Judge Harold T. Stone, rather than to them. This observation suggests some distance between family life and work, which can sometimes be challenging. Despite these difficulties, one of Anderson's two kids followed in his footsteps. Eva Anderson, inspired by her father, decided to pursue a career behind the scenes in Hollywood. She has worked as a costume designer on various productions, including TV shows and movies. The dynamics of the Anderson household revolved around the demands of the entertainment industry, shaping the experiences of both Harry Anderson's children differently, yet profoundly. Although they faced unique challenges due to their famous father, they also gained valuable insights into creative professions. Ultimately, each child made choices based upon those influences, leading one down the path of performance while inspiring the other towards production. The actor, Harry Anderson, passed away in 2018, leaving behind a tale of humor and magic that has captured the hearts of many. His sudden departure was a shock, following a stroke complicated by influenza, which took him away at the age of with a net worth of $5 million, Anderson's legacy is etched in the annals of television, particularly for his iconic role on the beloved series Night Court. Throughout his career, Harry showcased his comedic prowess on both screen and stage, making viewers laugh with his unique character, Judge Harry Tarkett. His interviews and personal anecdotes, like the ones recounted by comedian Judd Apatow, paint a picture of a man who was not only talented but also warm and genuine. Those who had the privilege of working alongside him remember his undeniable charm and the joy he brought to the set. Indeed, Magic of the Spell from the Mystery Science Theater 3000 segment brings a smile to many faces, but it was his television presence that truly transcended time. The magic and wit he brought to shows like Law and Order demonstrated his ability to captivate audiences across different genres. Anderson's enduring impact resonates not just through his memorable performances, but also in the fond memories he created. From thrilling television productions to clutch moments on stage, his contribution to the realm of entertainment will be cherished for generations to come. As we reminisce about his life, it's clear that Harry Anderson's legacy is one that will always be woven into the tapestry of television history. The Night Court reboot has recently been announced, featuring Judge Stone's daughter as a central character. This upcoming series will pay homage to the original show, which aired from 1984 to 1992, and its beloved actor, Harry Anderson, who played the role of Judge Harry T. Stone. Anderson's portrayal of the quirky, quick-witted judge left an indelible mark on audiences, making him a household name during the show's run. His unique comedic style and charismatic personality were instrumental in Night Court's success, and continue to resonate with fans today. The reboot aims to capture some of the magic that made the original series so popular, while also modernizing it for contemporary viewers. By including tributes to Anderson throughout the episodes, the creators hope to honor the actor's contribution to the show's legacy and maintain a connection to its roots. While details regarding these tributes have yet to be revealed, they may include subtle references to memorable moments from the original series or visual nods to Anderson's distinctive fashion choices and mannerisms. These thoughtful touches serve as reminders of how significantly the late actor impacted the show and solidified its place as a classic sitcom. As production progresses, fans can look forward to seeing how the Night Court reboot incorporates elements inspired by Harry Anderson, ensuring that the spirit of the original series remains alive and well in this updated version. In the entertainment industry, where magic and comedy come together, Harry Anderson etched his place as a remarkable figure. Born on October 14, 1952, in Newport, Rhode Island, he embarked on a captivating journey to become a beloved actor, comedian, and magician. Harry was best known for playing Judge Harry Stone on the hit television show Night Court, which ran from 1984 to 1992. His quirky charm and impeccable comedic timing made him stand out among other actors during that era. Before finding fame on TV screens across America, he honed his skills as a street performer in San Francisco dazzling audiences with sleight-of-hand tricks and witty humor. As a teenager, he found inspiration in the works of legendary magicians like Harry Houdini and Di Vernon, leading him to develop an intense passion for illusionism. By age 16, he had already started performing professionally at parties and events around town. After moving to Chicago, he became a regular face at Second City, one of the most prestigious improvisational comedy troupes globally. 
further refining his craft while working alongside talented artists like John Belushi and Bill Murray. Eventually, Hollywood came calling, offering him roles in various film projects throughout the late 70s and early 80s. But it wasn't until Cheers creator James Burroughs saw him perform live that things truly took off for Harry. Impressed by what he witnessed, Burroughs cast him in Night Court, forever changing both men's careers. Throughout its nine-season run, Night Court earned critical acclaim and numerous award nominations, including three Emmy nods for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series, all thanks to Harry's unique talent and dedication. Although diagnosed with Parkinson's disease later in life, Harry continued to pursue his passions, even hosting a short-lived talk show called Harry where he combined interviews, skits, and magic performances, ultimately proving that despite challenges, following one's dreams can lead to unforgettable achievements. And so, we remember Harry Anderson as a cherished entertainer whose impact transcended generations. Born on October 14, 1952, in Newport, Rhode Island, Harry Anderson's passion for magic and performing started at a young age. His mother, Helen, was a homemaker, while his father, Lucius, worked as a salesman. At six years old, Anderson discovered magician Harry Blackstone Sr.'s performances on TV, which left a lasting impression on him. This early exposure sparked his interest in magic tricks, leading him to perform street shows during his teenage years. Living in California as a teenager, he met Di Vernon, a renowned close-up magician known as The Professor. Vernon became a significant influence and mentor for Anderson, helping refine his skills and encouraging him to pursue a career in entertainment. Another crucial figure in Anderson's life was Dick Cavett, a talk show host who provided opportunities for the aspiring entertainer to appear on his program and showcase his talent. Attending college briefly, Anderson decided to drop out and move to Florida to immerse himself fully in the local art scene. There, he began working as a street performer, quickly garnering attention and building connections within the community. During this time, Anderson also developed his comedic style by incorporating jokes into his magical acts. Anderson eventually moved to Nashville, Tennessee, where he hosted a successful comedy club called the Comedy Fort, before relocating once again to Chicago. These experiences shaped his performance abilities and solidified his reputation as a talented actor, writer, and magician, a true testament to his diverse skill set. With strong foundations laid through these early relationships and environments, Anderson embarked on a fulfilling career in entertainment. From a young age, Harry Anderson's curiosity was piqued by magic tricks and illusion shows on television. At eight years old, he received his first magician's kit, igniting a lifelong fascination with entertainment arts. However, it wasn't until high school that he found himself captivated by acting while performing in a production of Bye Bye Verdi. This marked the turning point where Harry realized that being on stage brought him immense joy. After graduation, he decided to step away from traditional education and join a traveling comedy troupe called the Lean Brothers, honing his improvisational skills and comedic timing. While working odd jobs between performances, Harry continued perfecting his magical abilities and eventually combined both talents into one unique act, propelling him onto the national stage during appearances on Saturday Night Live and Johnny Carson's The Tonight Show. These opportunities solidified his desire to pursue a full-time career in show business leading to iconic roles like Judge Harry Stone on NBC's Night Court and Dave Barry's TV adaptation of Dave's World. To this day, fans cherish memories of Harry Anderson's memorable performances, which have left an indelible mark on American pop culture. Born in Newport, Rhode Island, in 1952, Harry Anderson's journey to becoming a successful actor was filled with obstacles. Financial struggles were a constant challenge for him during his early life. To make ends meet, he worked various odd jobs, including magic shows at parties and restaurants. Yet, even amid hardship, he never lost sight of his dreams. As a teenager, Harry developed a keen interest in magic tricks and juggling, which led him to perform on the streets of San Francisco. With just a hat for tips, Harry honed his skills while facing skepticism from passersby who doubted his abilities could support a career. However, his perseverance paid off when he began performing at comedy clubs across the country. The entertainment industry took notice of Harry's unique talents and quirky charm, eventually leading to appearances on popular TV shows like Saturday Night Live and Cheers. Despite gaining recognition, Harry still encountered doubts about his potential as a serious actor due to his background in magic and comedy. Nevertheless, he persisted by taking acting classes and seeking out roles that would showcase his range. 
One significant breakthrough came when Harry landed the lead role in the critically acclaimed series Night Court, where he played Judge Harold T. Stone. His performance earned him three consecutive Emmy nominations, solidifying his status as a talented actor despite earlier reservations. Throughout his career, Harry continued to embrace new opportunities, appearing in numerous films and television shows, further proving himself as a versatile entertainer. Harry Anderson's story serves as an inspiration for anyone pursuing their dreams against all odds. Through determination, creativity, and continuous self-improvement, he overcame financial struggles and industry skepticism to become a beloved figure in American pop culture. His legacy continues to resonate today, reminding us that success often lies beyond our comfort zone. In 1984, Harry Anderson's career reached a pinnacle with his role in the film Starman. His portrayal of a widowed woman's alien visitor left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Noted for its emotional depth, the performance showcased Anderson's ability to connect with viewers on a profound level. Co-star Karen Allen praised him for bringing a unique sensitivity to the character, stating, Harry had a way of tapping into raw emotion while still maintaining a sense of wonderment. Just two years later, Anderson would experience another breakthrough moment when he landed the lead role in the television series Night Court. As Judge Harry T. Stone, he became a household name and garnered widespread praise for his comedic timing and charismatic presence. Critics hailed the performance as a revelation in sitcom acting, highlighting Anderson's knack for blending humor with humanity. Fellow cast member John Larroquette echoed this sentiment, noting, working alongside Harry was like watching a master class in comedy. Every line delivery felt fresh and unpredictable. Throughout his career, Anderson continued to push boundaries by exploring various genres and mediums. However, it was his early roles in Starman and Night Court that solidified his status as a talented actor capable of captivating audiences with his nuanced performances. These milestones remain significant touchstones in understanding the evolution and influence of Harry Anderson's remarkable career. Harry Anderson's artistic vision was deeply rooted in his fascination with magic, humor, and storytelling. Born on October 14, 1952, in Newport, Rhode Island, he began his career as a street magician before transitioning into acting. This background in magic heavily influenced his performances, often incorporating elements of illusion and misdirection to engage audiences. Anderson approached his work with a unique blend of wit and whimsy, creating memorable characters marked by their eccentricities and charm. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Judge Harry Stone on the television series Night Court, which ran from 1984 to 1992. His performance showcased his ability to balance comedy and drama while maintaining an air of unpredictability around his character. Harry Anderson's personal experiences shaped his artistic perspective. Growing up surrounded by magicians and performers allowed him to develop a deep appreciation for the art of entertainment. In addition, his interest in classic films and vintage styles became evident through his fashion choices and set designs in various projects. The actor once mentioned that every role he played felt like stepping into someone else's shoes, allowing him to explore different aspects of humanity. Through these explorations, he could express vulnerability, resilience, and quirkiness, making each character uniquely relatable. Moreover, Anderson believed in embracing serendipity during his creative process. Instead of meticulously planning out every detail, he preferred leaving room for spontaneity and improvisation. This organic approach lent authenticity to his performances, captivating viewers and earning critical acclaim. Ultimately, Harry Anderson left behind a legacy that transcends generations, inspiring aspiring actors and entertainers alike. His commitment to creativity, fearlessness when taking risks, and genuine passion for storytelling continue to resonate in the world of entertainment today. And so, we remember him fondly, not just for his remarkable talent, but also for his indomitable spirit and infectious joy. Harry Anderson, born on October 14, 1952, was a remarkable actor who left his mark on the entertainment industry. Known for his role as Judge Harry Stone in Night Court, he brought a unique blend of humor and humanity to the character. According to David Spade, a fellow cast member, Anderson had a great sense of timing which made him stand out. His performance resonated deeply with audiences, making Night Court one of the most popular TV shows of its time. Anderson also played Dave Nichols in Tales from the Crypt. Here, he showcased his versatility by taking on darker roles just as skillfully as comedic ones. This ability to switch between genres broadened the spectrum of characters available to actors, 
inspiring many to explore diverse opportunities. Moreover, Harry Anderson was known for performing magic tricks both on and off screen. He even owned a magic shop in New Orleans. By incorporating these elements into his performances, he added another layer of charm and charisma, further distinguishing himself as an artist. His influence extends beyond acting. As noted by Entertainment Weekly, after starring in Dave's World, based on comedy writer Leo Bennett's life, several real-life writers found themselves intrigued by the idea of writing for television. Thus, Anderson indirectly encouraged aspiring writers to pursue careers in the field. Harry Anderson passed away on April 16, 2018, leaving behind a rich legacy. Despite his departure, his impact continues to echo through the industry. Through his memorable roles and infectious enthusiasm, he has undoubtedly shaped modern storytelling and will always be remembered fondly. Harry Anderson, best known for his role as Judge Harry Stone on the hit TV show Night Court, had a passion for magic and juggling, which often found its way into his acting roles. He even owned a magic shop in New Orleans called Sideshow. Anderson was also a dedicated family man. He married Elizabeth Morgan in 1977, and together they had two children. His family played a significant role in shaping his values and influenced many of his career choices. Philanthropy was essential to Anderson. He used his platform to raise awareness and funds for various charitable organizations. In particular, he supported the Shriners Hospitals for Children, where he served as a national spokesperson and helped raise millions of dollars for the organization. Anderson's love for music was another one of his passions. He played the harmonica and incorporated it into his performances whenever possible. Music became a source of inspiration for him, both personally and professionally. Harry Anderson lived a rich and fulfilling life beyond his successful acting career. Through his involvement in charity work, family life, and hobbies, he demonstrated a commitment to making a positive impact on those around him. Harry Anderson's legacy in the acting industry is marked by his iconic role as Judge Harry Stone in the TV show Night Court. He brought humor and wit to the character, making it unforgettable for many viewers. Beyond his comedic talent, he also showed off his magic skills, which added another layer of intrigue to his performances. Aspiring actors can learn from Anderson's ability to fully embrace a character. He once said, I don't think of myself as a comedian, I think of myself as an actor who does comedy. This mindset allowed him to approach every role with authenticity and dedication. For those looking to break into the industry, Anderson advised being true to oneself and pursuing roles that align with one's unique talents and interests. In addition, honing one's craft through training and practice is crucial. As Anderson put it, if you want to act, study, work hard, and never give up, and maybe you'll get lucky. As for his own future contributions, Anderson continued to explore different avenues in entertainment, including writing and producing. His passion for magic also remained strong throughout his career. He believed in constantly learning and growing as an artist, ensuring that his impact would continue to resonate in the industry. Born in 1952, Harry Anderson found his calling early in life. As a magician and comedian, he began performing at age 16. His passion for entertaining led him to appear on Saturday Night Live and later star in the TV show Night Court, which brought him three Emmy nominations. Anderson was known for his innovative blending of magic and comedy, both on stage and screen. He opened his own nightclub in New Orleans, where he could perform and control his unique artistic vision. This venue allowed him to connect with audiences in new ways, solidifying his status as a beloved entertainer. Harry Anderson's career resonates with the power of creativity and perseverance. Despite facing challenges, including being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, he continued to pursue his passions until his death in 2018. In doing so, he leaves behind a legacy that transcends generations, a reminder of the importance of following one's dreams against all odds. Throughout his life, Anderson reminded us that embracing our passions can lead to groundbreaking innovations, leaving lasting impressions on those around us. Never underestimate the influence you have on shaping the landscape of the entertainment industry and beyond. Like Anderson, stay true to yourself and keep pushing boundaries, inspiring others along the way. As we remember Harry Anderson, known for his role in Night Court, it's clear he left an impression on many. His career spanned decades, from his start in magic to his memorable performances on stage and screen. Let's celebrate his life and achievements together. Anderson was born on October 14, 1952, in Newport, Rhode Island. He began performing magic tricks at age 8, eventually becoming a magician and comedian. In 1982, 
Anderson stepped into acting with a recurring part on Cheers. This opportunity paved the way for him to land the starring role in Night Court just two years later. Throughout the series, Anderson portrayed Judge Harry T. Stone, captivating audiences with his unique charm and humor. Many admired his ability to balance witty one-liners with moments of genuine emotion. After Night Court ended, Anderson continued to act in various TV shows and movies until his passing on April 16, 2018. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about Harry Anderson's impact on television? Did you have a favorite moment from Night Court? Share your memories below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories celebrating those who shaped our entertainment landscape.